The question is, my friends, what social stigma does society need to get over? Ah, that's a good question. Society needs to get over this concept of, of like gender roles and you know these classic definitions. I think if people want to to be and do and have sex with whoever, whoever they want, they should just be able to do it. It shouldn't be like we should just undo the whole crap that that is um, because it's uh, it's antiquated. We've moved on as a people. And uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's right to be like, oh, just because we choose it for our life means you need to conform. I'm from Mars says, I think discrimination. Yeah, totally. Right. We're saying basically the same thing. I agree. The day we abolish discrimination will be like this. <laughs> Daryl Hall comes in with racial colors. I think that's a social stigma we can get rid of, too. I agree with that. Lindon says LB LGBTQ stigma is still rampant. Any free uh, any freaking where. Yep. If you judge someone with an added vial of religion, then you shouldn't judge at all. They are human beings and they deserve the same respect as anyone else. Yeah, Lindon, you're not wrong. Elrock says, I think for me that men who cry are somehow weak or less than a man. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. That's a very astute, uh, I think, insight there, Elrock. Thank you for sharing that. Rolly Boy says, I agree with M from Mars. And for me, it's for old people to be allowed to work as long as they're physically fit to work. Yeah. Abolish ageists as well, right? Like that's something that's something um, I'm starting to think more about as I'm, you know, in my 40s. It's going to be a, a hell of a time trying to get a job in my 50s and 60s, I think. Depends on the work, but yeah, even in the game industry. Nightmare Silence says we need to get over the social stigma that people need to be thin to be attractive. Yeah, OK. I agree with that. I mean, I also, you know, I, I would want people I mean, the fact that we have to get fat at all, it really sucks, right? But I mean, some people are thick. That's just the way it is, you know? But, um, you know, I, I think if you're 600 pounds, it's also, you know, there's something else going on. Um, and I, I don't want people to be in that, that place either. I mean, I can love a person for who they are, um, but uh, I mean, there's not a but for that. But, you know, I definitely am concerned when people um, have these things happen to them where, you know, their, their body sizes are... are just out of control um and not like it's a shameful thing i think there's a there's a whole whole totally terrible thing um in society right now with um i mean the fact that we're in an epidemic when it comes to uh, i mean we have children we have childhood obesity not we're not talking like little big bones we're not talking about a little like pudge we're talking about you know heart con congenital heart defects and failures and you know the fact that that we as a society are letting it just lapse and then we try to tell people and i'll get off my soapbox in a second but then we try to tell people that oh if you just watch what you eat it'll fix it all like oh you know count your calories you'll be fine it's, it's not that's not that's not the whole thing we need to demand change dr boss key change vote dr boss key for president sarah knight says mental health stigma but my biggest issues come uh, with the anti-vaxxer and the group stigma against, say, people with autism and their stigma against science. Ooh, Serenite, man, that is a good can to open. I, I appreciate that. Man, those anti-vaxxers. Science! Down with science! Velenese says, society shouldn't discriminate those with the weird gene. <laughs> you, my friend, are in the right company. We do not start to discriminate against people with the weird gene around here. <laughs> I mean, the good news, right, is that people, people that basically um, are a little weird or different or super passionate about certain things, right? Like, you know, games, gaming culture, you know, like there's so many things in the world to be passionate about, um, you know, and uh, I think that now more than ever, you can find your group of people, right? You can find people you can identify with. The world is much smaller than it's ever been. There are more people. There are, better, there are, there are easier ways to get connected, for better or worse. But um, I don't think that as a society, we're not allowed to lapse into like loneliness and outcasting and, and being like, we still have some fucked up things going on in society. But I think, I think we're better than we've ever been. Like shit's blowing up, sure enough. But, you know, it's always been blowing up. But I think overall... Um, while we have problems to face, I think we have more tools to face them and more intelligence and experience than we've ever had as a people. Um, and I, I'm hopeful for us.